Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So I'm really, really excited about this video. As you guys know, Paprika and Riddler had their first clutch of eggs, which hatched out around eight days ago. They all shed. Last night was the final baby that shed. It was like two snakes that shed in the morning, three more snakes shed midday. I had to wait till almost midnight, but they all shed. So in this video, I'm gonna be separating them, putting them in their own bins will offer them their first meals. And you know what, I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna drink some of the Mountain Valley spring water, some of the finest water money could buy. I already had a beautiful cup of coffee this morning before the sun came up, but now it's just too hot for a nice hot cup of coffee. So let me make a toast to you guys, and we're gonna get this video started. Ah, oh yeah. All right, guys, so we're back inside. I'm real excited. I just want to show you guys their setup. I'm going to be using these FB5s from Freedom Breeder. If you're using Vision, it's the V15. I prefer Freedom Breeder. You get the pre-drilled holes. It comes from the factory like that. And a water cup holder, so the snake can't tip over the water. Because if you have snakes, you know they love to tip over water balls, so that's a plus. All right, so what is a great hide for a newborn hatchling or small snake? Something that we all have on hand, toilet paper rolls. So all I do is I cut it in half. So one small toilet paper roll makes two hides. And I got that idea from Port City Pythons, one of my favorite, favorite channels to watch. They don't really do videos anymore, but I got that idea from there. And I also would recommend paper towel as your substrate, but I'm using something different and I have a reason. So you want to make sure the bins that you're using for these babies are clean. They were already clean, but I have had snakes in some of those bins. So what I like to use as a sanitizing agent, chlorhexidine. Now you take this chlorhexidine solution you put it in a bottle with water and you mix it up. It's a very small concentration, a couple of teaspoons for this big bottle. Spray it down, wipe it down, and voila, that's pretty much it. You just make sure you get everything dry. The residue behind is safe for the animals. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and germs. So here are the sheds from those babies. I had to count each one to make sure there was enough sheds to match the amount of snakes that were in the bin. Now I wanna take a look at these snakes out in the sunlight. Woo! I wanna take a look at these snakes out in the sunlight and get a better look at them. So now this is the container I had them in once they hatched. I brought them into this container and it looks real nasty right now because they all pooped this was nice and damp, you had to keep it moist, but it doesn't smell that bad because it was all egg yolk that was in their systems, not like rodents that smell worse. I put this little guy in here, a little ram skull, so they could move on it to help them shed. Now there's the clutch. They look real, real dark, which means they're probably gonna look real nice once they start coloring up. I'm gonna take a couple of these guys outside to give you a little bit closer look, but um, they still have a lot of coloring up to do until they even tell what they're gonna look like. All right guys, so we're getting our first up close look at these babies right after they shed. Look at the pattern, you know, the colors aren't in yet. Those nice deep maroon, orangey colors, the extremeness in the saddles, we can't really tell much about that yet. These are really dark in the saddle, so I have a feeling a lot of these are gonna look beautiful. But besides those colors, you could already look at just the patterning. Really, really beautiful. Give you guys a look at that checkerboard belly. Classic, classic to it. Now look at this guy's side. It has like a nice stripe along the side. 
beautiful, nice size babies, nice and robust. So now the fun is gonna begin, trying to see who eats, who refuses food. That's part of the excitement because you never know, maybe they'll all eat on the first try. It's gonna be amazing to go through this journey with you guys. So let me put this little guy back and I wanna show you the striped looking one that really caught my eye. Now you know, I don't like to pick favorites, but this little guy definitely caught my eye. Look at that little zigzag pattern above his neck. And I don't know, it's kind of hard to see it, but his whole patterning is a little bit different. His belly, his checkers are a little bit different as well. And the sides look a little bit different. So I'm gonna put this guy back, we're gonna get these guys set up. And let's see, maybe we'll even feed them for the first time today. So I'm gonna finish setting everybody up and we'll be back later tonight, let them get settled in and we'll try feeding them. All right guys, it's been about four to five hours since I put the snakes in the rack. Let them get a little settled in. You can wait overnight if you like, but I just wanna see if I can get any of them to eat right now. They look to be fine, they're moving around. So let's see if any of these babies are hungry. So now this is the fun, exciting part for me, trying to get these babies to eat. We're gonna start with baby number one, which refused to eat, so that's why I wind up fast forwarding it. Now we're gonna go to baby two and watch till the end because you might be surprised. Now this little guy, now I thought all of my snakes shed. This one actually shed in the bin, so that was a surprise. And another one didn't wanna eat. So that's baby number two. And now to baby number three. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's our first attack. This is baby number three. And that's the first one to strike. Taking it into its lair. Oh yeah, so now let that one just eat. We'll come back and check up. Sometimes these babies start to eat and then drop it, but uh, let's see what happens. So when you have newborn snakes, it's a lot of patience you need and practice trying different techniques. A lot of times some of the techniques you do know about don't work and it just takes time and patience, but it usually pays off. Ooh. 
This guy looks nice and active. Sometimes when they're active like this, they're a little bit more aggressive when it comes to feeding. This one looks like he's ready to go right off the bat. Boom, got it. So this guy's got a hold of that pinky. He looks like he's enjoying it so far. And when you actually produce these snakes, see them come out of the egg, have their first shed, then you warm up those pinkies, offer it its first prey item, and boom, he goes for it. Such a rewarding feeling, and I'm really proud of these babies. In general, the corn snakes, easy to get going. Keep watching to the end, and some of those fussy babies that didn't eat in the beginning, they're gonna surprise you. So keep watching, I'm gonna let this guy relax and enjoy that pinky. Boom! Making me a proud father. So now this is baby number four. I'm attempting to feed him for the first time and I'm fast forwarding it because he refused. So I'm just gonna leave the pinky with him and we'll come back and check him out. Now this is baby number one. He looks really interested. He's coming out. I think he's going for it. Gotta try and get his attention again. Sometimes you gotta take your time with these babies. They don't know exactly what you're doing. This is the first time. Sometimes it pays off on the first strike. Boom, 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 got it. So rewarding. Baby number one. So ba this baby is baby number two, still didn't eat. Maybe reintroduce the pinky. I might warm it up again just to see. Oh, got a little strike there. That might be a defensive strike though. Maybe you got a taste of that nice delicious pinky and uh, you can't resist now. Oh yeah, now look at that. That one wasn't eating. You could see some red, orange in the cheek on the face of this snake starting to come in. And once he did that defensive strike, he got a taste of that delicious pinky. He just couldn't resist, so we'll let him eat. Now you can't see it too good on camera, but right there in the middle, nice little bulge right there. That's the pinky. That guy's still relaxing. Oh yeah, you could see right there, nice little bulge, pinkies in the belly. Now I just ripped the skin on the head of the pinky and pressed a little bit on the head, which is called braining. It gives a little bit more scent and sometimes the snakes smell that and it helps them, encourages them to eat. Maybe we could even get a defensive strike out of him. And if he tastes that pinky, he won't be able to resist. So as of now, baby number one ate, you can see the nice pinky in his belly. Baby number two, just swallowing that pinky. So baby one and baby two, eight. 
baby number three, the pinky, you can see it right there in its abdomen. Baby number four didn't eat. Look at the pinky right there. So baby number five eight. Baby number six didn't eat. Baby number seven eight. Baby number eight eight. And we just checked baby number nine. So only two babies didn't eat. So seven out of the nine babies ate on the first time. So that's actually really good considering the first time they were offered food. I thought maybe three of them will eat and the rest wouldn't. And then again, I'll try on the weekend and then some more will eat, but seven out of nine is real good. So we're gonna try again in like two days. You know, some of them still have that egg yolk in them they're still absorbing it so they might not be too hungry but i'm sure in a day or two they're going to be on the prowl so i'm going to make a toast to everybody watching the video make a toast to all these amazing babies and i hope you guys enjoyed the video we're going to do lots of updates i got lots of great videos coming up so be safe All right, guys, I just got home from work. I recorded my video yesterday, almost ready to post it, finish editing. And I had two snakes out of the nine that didn't want to eat, so I left the pinky in the bins. I was checking today, expecting to see a pinky right here where I left it on that paper towel. To my surprise, it's actually in his belly. He ate the pinky kind of hard to see on camera but I see kind of where he's covering up is where the pinky is so I got one more snake to check so this was the other snake that refused to eat I left the pinky right there so I'm looking everywhere I don't see the pinky and I look real closely and there's a slight bulge coming out of this snake's abdomen so this one also ate no foul odor i checked all the bedding i see a nice plump little belly so all nine of the snakes ate so that's great news now i can label these that everyone had their first meal